what's interesting about Vana is it really is a whole new design space for a builder, right? Now you're not just building financial products. There are also these data transactions that can live in the block space, right? And so you're learning to build like, hey, what's possible with user owned data, right? And it's, it's a very new primitive. And so, um, yeah, we've been kind of building alongside um, a bunch of the top data DAOs in the ecosystem um, for the past few months or so. Um, and then the earliest versions uh, came out uh, earlier this year for the, from a, a data DAO perspective. Um, but yeah, so yeah, basically progressively rolling things out. Um, I think that what you need to do well as a protocol is like um, find the right problem that the protocol needs to solve and then find ways to bring other people in so they can build like really great sort of, they're highly incentivized to build great parts of the system, right? So in our case, like we don't build anything out that's kind of specific to a given data set. Like that is all done by the data DAOs. Um, whereas they're all kind of writing data back to the Corvana. So you can still like use this data across different parts of the ecosystem. So the mainnet is a layer one, right? So uh, the native gas token is Vana. Um, and then each data DAO has their own like data set specific token. Um, it looks kind of similar to, it's like a cross between maybe like Ethereum and BitTensor tokenomics. So um, similar to Ethereum, like uh, Ethereum doesn't own a share of all ERC-20 tokens, right? And like Vana doesn't own a share of every single data set token, um, but really acts as that kind of like coordination layer between all the different data tokens and is also kind of used for staking and as a means of payment. Um, and then for kind of a, a small fee on every transaction on the network. Is it used for governance at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's also used for governance. Um, so, and that's, there are kind of two layers of it, right? So each data DAO token is used for governance of that particular data set. And then at the Vana level, there's also kind of governance um, using the Vana native token.